Good morning. It is December 7th, 2020. Right now, you're getting a live look from the International Space Station, looking at the SpaceX Cargo Dragon on the CRS-21 mission. The Cargo Dragon is just a little less than t uh, 11 kilometers or 7 miles away from the International Space Station. This is a live look from some of the high-definition external cameras uh, looking out at the vehicle as the station and the uh, Dragon fly 263 statute miles over the North Atlantic Ocean about to cross into an orbital nighttime. So we'll see these views uh, just get a little bit dimmer uh, here shortly. We should definitely do next time. And apologies for the earlier comment. Over Dragon. Gen 2. With Yon 2, Dragon Range is passing 1,000 meters. Monitor long range approach per step one in 1.102. 1 Uncrewed Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Okay, copy, and that's for uh, Kate for me, correct? That is correct. Kate and Ike. All right, outers are closed and the ham radios are powered off. Copy both. This is Mission Control Houston. The, uh, what you're looking at now is a live view from the International Space Station's uh, external high-definition cameras looking out at the uh, CRS-21 cargo spacecraft, SpaceX's uh, CRS-21. It's sitting inside uh, 1,000 meters inside the approach ellipsoid. Uh, actually, a little less than 730 meters. Now, as we continue to try to lock on from the International Space Station side, you can see the cameras from Dragon. Uh, we're getting some feeds passed through ground stations, providing some a video feed uh, looking up at the uh, bright object in the sky. That is the International Space Station. A little closer now, some of those features uh, being able to be made out as it makes its approach. Uh, now inside 700 meters, that next milestone will be 400 meters directly below. Uh, but this is essentially directly below the International Space Station. You can sort of pick out the solar rays on both sides. And you just start a tally ho from Kate Rubens for the International Space the rest of the steps in the box, I just figured you want that info first. We're uh, right at the Terminator, so the sun's glinting off it. I wish you guys could see this. So this is Mission Control Houston. Uh, Kate Rubin's aboard the International Space Station. She's in the uh, cupola module. This is a seven bay window that looks right down at the Earth, uh, confirming she loses visuals uh, just from the windows of the cupola uh, that looks down at the Earth. She loses it right about the time uh, that it crosses the velocity bar right above, uh, right in line with the velocity vector of the International Space Station. The uh, uh, waypoint one that's expected in uh, just about 20 minutes, maybe a little bit less. Uh, but that'll be uh, right now, let's see, 450 meters away from the station at the velocity bar when it wakes its way to waypoint zero. So again, Kate Rubens and uh, Victor Glover are inside the cupola module. Uh, during the approach phase, they were able to close the shutters to the cupola modules, but they have since been opened to maintain situational awareness. And uh, Kate Rubens from the International Space Station has uh, just called down through space to ground uh, of a tally-ho, meaning that she spotted the uh, CRS-21 spacecraft from the International Space Station. This is Mission Control Houston. Now the station and uh, Dragon are expected to enter into an orbital night here soon. Uh, so the image that you're seeing now will just get a little bit darker. Uh, appreciating now the views of the Crew Dragon resilience at the forward end of the International Space Station, uh, glistening off the sun there. We have passed waypoint one. Uh, this is the milestone 220 meters. Uh, negative zero decimal three zero. We are in step three. Copy all. And we're going to switch over to uh, no two forward.
DP to VVDP. Copy all, Kate. This is Mission Control Houston. If you are wondering what the rendezvous proximity and operations program that uh, Kate Rubens and uh, Victor Glover are looking at aboard the International Space Station, this is their view. Sensation on Space Ground 2, we see vehicle mold hold. We see good holding uh, range 25, decimal 9, 2 range rate 0, good corridor alignment, and in the Dragon docking monitor, we see good alignment. We have briefed step 5 and step 6, and we are go whenever you are. And Kate, we copy all. Uh, it's looking good from down here also. Uh, we do have some predicted comm blockage that would have occurred during the docking sequence if we pressed immediately. We are intending to hold at waypoint 2 to around 1834 or so. Uh, we will give you a call when we are resuming approach. And we can confirm on the D2 DM 19.82. Copy. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, everything's still looking good from the International Space Station side. Kate Rubens and uh, Victor Glover monitoring the uh, uh, cargo dragon as it holds 20 meters away. We passed that holding point uh, from their position, just making sure that they're watching the same uh, telemetry. Kate Rubens, not uh, too long ago, just about a month, even less than that, uh, was monitoring the approach of uh, Crew-1, the SpaceX uh, Crew-1 mission that brought uh, Victor Glover and three of his roommates, Victor Glover being one, uh, the other astronaut currently monitoring Cargo Dragon's approach. Uh, Kate Rubens was monitoring the approach of uh, Crew Dragon not too long ago, just verifying she's looking at the right uh, data from Node 2 Zenith, that's the space-facing side of, the, of Node 2. In the uh, International Space Station flight control room here in Houston, teams are undergoing a go-no-go -go to proceed uh, with docking. Uh, again, we are expected to depart uh, its current position, holding 20 meters away from the International Space Station. That expected departure time coming up in just about 11 minutes, uh, 12.34 p.m. Pacific. This is just to make sure that we have a secure communication link uh, from the data uh, with uh, the Cargo Dragon before we uh, go ahead and resume approach. Uh, with that, we're expecting to see a docking uh, around 12.39 p.m. Uh, central time today, a little bit later than we were expecting, but I uh, want to make sure uh, we have some solid communications with Cargo Dragon. Uh, that's carrying now 6,400 pounds of cargo inside. Fifteen meters from station and closing. Now inside ten meters. Approach is looking good and aligned. Sensation on space to ground two, range eight meters, good attitude. One meter. And we have confirmed contact and capture 12.40 p.m. Central Time. Station Houston, dragon contact and soft capture complete. South capture complete. Again, confirmed contact and soft capture. Dragon and the International Space Station were 268 statute miles over the uh, southern Indian Ocean, 1240 p.m. Central Time. 
And we have confirmation of hard capture complete. Station Houston on two, hard capture complete. Houston Station on space to ground two, copy, hard capture complete. And I'd just like to say a huge congratulations to all of the teams that worked on SpaceX 2020.